Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. I'm Flinger Foo, and today we're going to talk about achievement. We're going to talk about expansions. We're going to talk about you climbing to the top of Dead Parasaur Mountain and laughing down at all the saber tooths as they fight for your scraps. Because you've been there, you've done that, you've got the t-shirt, you know what you're doing, you're experienced, you're accomplished, and dang it, you're just one heck of an ARC survivor. Well, guess what? Now that you've conquered the island in the center, we have more for you. We have Scorched Earth. And Scorched Earth, it's a little bit more difficult than the other ones. All right, I'm just going to leave it open like this so you guys can see my settings. They're pretty much the standard ones from what I run. Um, every, notice everything is halved because of the latest thing. So, yeah, because everything's double. So, yeah, I halved it. All right, let's load this sucker in, and then let's see what we can do. Because today, I'm going to be discussing tips and tricks on how to stay alive in scorched earth and avoid becoming dino poop. Populating your arc. <laughs> All right. So, um, to start things off, the first things you're going to want to do, uh, there's the thing, there's hydration. You want to pay very close... Be, uh, pay very close attention to your hydration all right you want to uh um like in the island in the center if you're playing solo the first things i recommend going for are weight on this one right here you do not want to go weight first you want to go movement speed all right now i say movement speed because when the crap hits the fan you want to be out of there as quick as possible all right now um on the starting spawn regions all right now you notice there's you know easy and then it goes down to medium and hard all right what it really means is hard harder hardest all right that's really what it means okay because no spawn spot on this is immune to just being ganked the moment you spawn in all right none of them Okay, so let's uh, load in here. Let's uh, get this going, and off we go. I love this screen. I say that every single time I load into one of these arcs, but I love this screen. All right. So uh, I already know where we are. All right, now the key thing you want to do, just like with everything, is pay attention to your surroundings. All right, as soon as you load in, you want to start gathering fiber because fiber is what's going to keep you alive. Come on, come on, give me. All right, so now, as soon as we level up, we're just going to go movement speed. We're going to take movement speed all the way to 110. We're going to learn the cloth pants and the cloth shirt as soon as possible. All right, we still need a whole bunch of more fiber for that, so let's get that. And let's get off the side of this mountain, because I already see Argentavis is up in the distance. And this mountain is not easy. There are a whole bunch of big bad guys up here that really want to chew on our tender vittles. And, well, you know, I don't like having my vittles... Uh, chewed on because they're really tender and i don't like having tender things you know munched on by big bad things all right so can we leap across this right here i think we can right here all right it's gonna hurt a little bit now also um one thing that you want to do or not do is when you're when you're um traveling about in scorched earth you don't want to run you don't want to sprint you want to walk everywhere you go unless if you absolutely have to all right, so can we craft this up? All right, we're going to need more fiber for the pants. All right, because this stuff right here, it provides the insulation that we need. All right, movement speed, uh, spear, hatchet, and hat. All right, this right here, it provides the uh, um, insulation that you need to stay alive. All right, and we still need a whole bunch more. All right. And also, we want to keep our eye out for foos. Well, I call them foos, but um, to anybody who hasn't watched uh, my other uh, videos, a foo, well, they're anything small that fits on your shoulder. And the Jerboas, they are very important with this, in this uh, expansion. All right, I need flint, wood, thatch. All right. All right. So now we're going to beat down this tree for some flint, wood, and thatch. Just like on regular arc. Um, yeah, it's that part hasn't changed. All right, so get a pick. Now we need thatch and flint. 
Stick that down in there. Let's go with another movement speed. Get some thatch going. Where's a rock? Okay. All right, let's get that. Hatchet. What do we need for spears? We just need wood, so we're going to have to go grab some of that as soon as we grab this hatchet. Get this down here. And also, um, when you're um, playing this, when you're first starting out the expansion, don't worry about dying. And if you die, don't worry about your corpse. Your corpse, um, as far as you're concerned, when you first start out, if you die, just move on. Don't even worry about going back and getting your um, corpse. It, it, it's, <laughs> it's really not worth it. Just be thankful that uh, you're able to respawn, and that's about it. All right, so now that we're coming over here, we have to try to get across this ravine. Can I do it over here? I want to stay away from that as, as much as possible. Yeah, we can do it here. All right. Ow. All right, so now let's get some more movement speed. Now we're going to take movement speed up to 110, and then as soon as we're done with movement speed up to 110... We're going to uh, take um, fortitude up to 10. All right. Now, normally... Oh, there's a raptor. All right. Normally, I will uh, recommend people take weight. Well, that's not the case on this one because weight is if you're able to really, you know, stabilize and, you know, progress onto certain things. Yeah, you're not able to do that with this. All right. There's nothing down there. There's a couple of Dodickers over there fighting a raptor. That's free hide if we can get over there. But there's another raptor down here that I don't want to fight. So let's see. Where'd that raptor go? There he is. All right, we're going to watch him. All right, let's get over this side kangaroo over there all right we're gonna skirt the edge of this because that raptor's over there but we're gonna try to head down to the low ground over there because the low ground is where it's cool and um we're gonna start getting we're gonna start getting a uh, sunstroke if we don't watch it and the lower you go into the caverns i mean into the chasm the cooler it gets and so that's what we want it's going to gather up some fiber and stuff as we go, some berries. All right, now um, one thing I need to show you, all right, with these cacti, you see these things right here? All right, um, when you harvest these things, what? A okay. All right, when you harvest these things, look at the little water droplet in the side, okay? It's going up. All right, now that's one of the benefits of this is that's how you get the water from the cactus is you harvest them. Um, see, it says in your inventory that, you know, cut of cactus that, um, oh, giving sap and when it is, uh, cut of cactus that giving sap and when it is consumed hydrates your body. Well, when you consume it, it doesn't really hydrate your body. It just gives you one food. So the way that you get the, uh, the hydration from the cactus is you have to harvest it. And everything on Scorched Earth has a quicker spoil time. And we'll get into that as we progress a little bit. But just know that everything that you have is going to spoil a lot quicker. Oh, and there was free hide up here. I want to see if I can work my way over here to where those Dodickerses were fighting that raptor. Because that raptor is most certainly dead by now. And that hide is really going to help us out. All right, where were you guys? <clears throat> oh, they're still fighting him. Okay, well, we'll just watch. All right, so here we are. Oh, they just took him. <laughs> I was going to get out the Discovery Special, you know, kind of uh, oh, commentary. So here we are in the wild, watching the raptors fight the Dodickerses. Notice the majestic beauty as the raptor clings on to life. <laughs> All right, so hey, now that we've got some free hide, we're going to take that. That's the last pump and movement speed we're going to do for a little while. And then while that's like that, we're going to learn 
the slingshot. We're not going to use the slingshot very long, but I do intend on using it because it, well, yeah, I'm going to use it because it's, you know, it it's actually decent. It actually helps. So now that we have hide, I'm going to learn the, the gloves and the, the boots. We need more fiber. All right. So let's take that, put that down there, put that on. And it's important that you cover yourself as quick as possible, that you get the sun off your skin, which makes a lot of sense. All right, there should be enough fiber. Uh, boots. All right. And how much more hide do we have? We have 38, so that'll work. And then also, we're going to want to learn a campfire here soon so we can cook some of this food, but that's not really important until we actually find a spot for an initial rudimentary shack. How you doing, buddy? Yeah? Good job on taking out those raptors. Good job. <laughs> All right. So coming down over here, and then uh, one of the first things we need to do, we need to find a foo. All right, and I'm having a real hard time. Actually, see these little mesa over here? Um, they are one of the easiest ways to mark where you are on the map. Right, I want to come over here to this edge because it, once you learn the layout of the mesa, you can pretty much figure out where you are on the map at any time, which is very important. All right. And then down here in this chasm, that's where we want to go. And over there, there's a whole bunch of Caprosuccuses, but I think, actually, I think down here would be a good spot to set up. Actually, right there might be a good spot to set up an initial rudimentary shack. It'll be away from uh, some of the big bad guys. It'll be close to some sap and some wood and some cacti with a raptor on top. Huh, maybe it's not <laughs> so good. All right. All right, let's get this. Come down here. All right, did we learn the thatch foundation? We did not. So we're going to need thatch foundation, thatch wall, thatch roof, thatch door frame, and thatch door. All right, we didn't learn the thatch door, did we? Nope. All right, so um, let's get down here and start building a few things. Hopefully that raptor doesn't want to come down and say hi. So if that raptor comes down and says hi at this um, stage, we're just toast. Well, this is all right. All right. Well, you know what? Well, yeah, I think we'll go down one more layer. All right. <clears throat> Lower ourselves down here. And you notice... It may seem like I'm having very little trouble, but that's because I'm I'm consciously trying to avoid any entanglement whatsoever. Because at this early stage of the game, uh, you're just a scavenger. You're not, you know, the big, bad, mean guy that can take on everything. You can't go running up to things. If things run up to you, you run away. It's as simple as that. Um, I know even I get... Uh, I have the same problem, you know, I, I conquered the island, you know, and then I conquered the center and, you know, you just feel big and tough, you know, you can't you know, you go up to everything. It's like, you know, you, you can't face me. I've been to the top of Parasaur Mountain. Well, not here you have, <laughs> at least not yet. Um, now you're back to square one, you're a noob again, and yeah. All right, so let's just start up a rudimentary shack right here on the edge. How much thatch do we need let's uh foundation let's go two to start because this isn't going to be a permanent shack this is just going to be temporary 
until we can find a better spot to move to. And I like right here. All right, Mr. Anklo, this isn't going to upset you, is it? All right? All right, and then also we're going to have to go find us a foo as soon as possible because having a foo on your shoulder, it will uh, tell you. Things are fighting down there. It's a raptor. All right. Uh, let's go grab some... Let's see, what do we need? Thatch or wood? A little, little bit of both. All right, so... All right, grab this. Uh, level up fortitude. Close that. Craft. Wall. Let's just go with all three of these and then find out. We're going to need fiber is what we're going to need. Okay. All right, grab a whole bunch of this stuff. Let's uh, load this up, grab some thatch walls. I already had a bunch made. All right, so let's go with that, nine. <clears throat> and when I, yeah, when I say that this is not permanent, I mean it, this is not permanent. Um, we're only staying here, so we're just in case if the weather uh, picks up, we have a way of getting out of it. Now, um, on Scorched Earth, there are three different types of storms that you can encounter. Uh, one of them is the sandstorm, which when you're in a sandstorm, you're, you, you won't miss it. Uh, you will know you're in a sandstorm. It blocks off everything that you're doing. It uh, minimizes your uh, movement speed, drains your stamina. I need wood. And... this wood all right and then the sandstorm also uh it minimizes your um visibility your movement speed it drains your stamina and basically just has gives you a bad day all right but also one good thing about the sandstorm is that while it's going on the aggro radius of all uh carnivorous dinosaurs is reduced by a lot so um getting back to your shack during a sandstorm as long as you know the way it's quite possible and as long as you're not un very unlucky and end up running into something that, you know, is going to eat you. Right. Now let's get this sucker loaded up in here. All right, and this right here. All right, now, do we have the stuff to build a sleeping bag? We do. All right, so now that we can actually respawn inside of our shack, actually, we're not going to set it inside of our shack because that's going to take up all the room because that thing's small. We're going to set it on the outside. Down here, and then we're going to go out and see if we can find a foo. Right, fortitude. All right, let's go find a foo, and then should be one over here. Um, hold on, do I have enough stuff to build a storage box? Yes. All right, and this one right here, we're also just going to build outside, and this is just going to be for all our additional stuffs where we're not totally encumbered. All right. Uh, let's uh, get rid of that. That. Um, See, well, we need those. Stack that, throw that in there, that in there, that in there. Let's throw that in there. And you want to keep all your spoiled meat. Now, spoiled meat, it's going to spoil really fast. Um, even the spoiled meat itself spoils very fast. But you still want to keep that. All right. So now that we've got that, let's come out here and see if we can go find a foo. So we have, what do we have so far? We have the rudimentary shack. We have storage. We have a sleeping bag. And we haven't died yet. 
<laughs> thankfully. Um, so now we we need a foo. Uh, you have to have a foo on your shoulder or a, a jerboa, right? I know I keep calling them foos, but you know what? To me, they're foos. And also, I like this. All right, this is good stuff. Give me. Like I said, there's no shame in scavenging. You want to scavenge in the beginning of this game. Let me get this water. And these water bugs right here, you can walk right up to them and just drink water. But then they'll take off. Yeah. What is that? Way up there. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's falling. <laughs> All right. Let me go over here. Um, now, down on this ravine, there are a bunch of really cool spots. There's even uh, oh, some uh, small little water beds down there where you can pick up silica pearls and stuff like that and metal, which means that down there is one of the best spots. Some jerboas over there. Are they fleeing from something? Down there is one of the best spots to build your original base. Did you guys just lemming it off the side? Oh, you did. Oh, poor jerboas. <laughs> did you see that, though? You saw that, right? They were just running. Over here to the edge and off the edge. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's come over here. Um, over here in these uh, little areas over here, you want to pay attention to where the dodicruses are and where the ankylos are and how bloody they are because there's going to be raptors here. Uh, there might be a few scorpions. There might be a terror bird. And all of those are big bad news. All right. I'm not seeing any jerboas. Just those two that lemminged off the side. Jerboas. Hey. Where you at, buddies? All right. Well, I'm going to be looking around over here, seeing if I can find one. Um, because we've got to tame this little guy up. And I don't mind sprinting a little bit here because all this, uh, all the cactus that's around or all the cacti. So, yeah. All right. So if, as soon as I find one, I'll bring you guys back and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right. So also while we're out here looking, um, there's the other two storms that you get. One is an electrical storm. Well, first there was a sandstorm. We already discussed that. And then the other one is an electrical storm. All right, now while the electrical storm is going on, guns and uh, generators and stuff like that, they just will not work. Uh, you'll pull the trigger on a gun and you'll just get a little spark out of it. So yeah, it'll just kind of shut it down. It's really cool looking in the sky, which is pretty cool. And then uh, the other one is a heat wave. Now the heat wave, uh, the whole sky will light up orange, which uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to miss the heat wave. Um, and then everything will get super hot. You'll start taking tons of damage. Your uh, water will just go away. Let me grab some of this stuff really quick. Got to hydrate here really fast. Um, and your water will just start going away and you will you will die. If you're out in a heat wave and you are ill-prepared, you'll die. So yeah, don't get caught in a heat wave, everybody. All right. And so, yeah, those are the three uh, storms. And yeah, just be very careful of those things, which is why you have to have a foo on your shoulder because a foo will um, tell you when these things are about to happen. All right. All right, I finally found one. Two. All right, hey. So uh, yeah, we're going to pick whichever one we want and we're going to go with this one. All right, so eight. Now, you can just walk up and punch these guys, but yeah, I I, don't, I just like to do that. <laughs> right, so now that we have these, um, if you have any, at this point in time, or in, in this stage, if you have any plant species Y seeds, go ahead and throw it on your fresh jerboa, because that is their kibble. 
Um, it, you'll insta tame them on uh, increased settings. Um, but uh, since uh, we don't, we're just going to tame it with uh, some measure berries. And yeah. All right. While that's going on, I'm going to gather a few things here because, yeah, see if we can get one of those plant species Y seeds. All right. Now, also, um, the silk that you're getting, uh, you only get it from these little uh, um, pink flowers and the little white flowers. Uh, that's the only way to get silk out of the plants. But you can actually save up a bunch, and all the silk that you get, you want to keep. It's important because we will be using it all later on. And we'll be using a lot of it. All right, and there we go. All right, come here, dude. All right. So we've got a foo now. All right, so hey, we learned the uh, the basics of as soon as you land, what do you do? And I'm going to find my way back to base. And I think that's going to do it for this episode. So hey, if you liked that episode, if it helped you out, go ahead and click that like button. I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get this uh, series going. We're going to do a little mini series on it. And if people like it, then we might continue with it. Um, but yeah, so hey, uh, until next time, this is Flinger Foo. And take it easy, everyone. Foo, you look awesome, buddy. Awesome. All right, take it easy, everyone.